Hey guys, so this vlog that you're about to watch is actually from last week um, But just with everything that was going on and is still going on I just felt like it wasn't the right time to post a YouTube video as well as just keep up with my own social media like posting on Instagram I just didn't feel genuinely comfortable putting up a pretty picture and it really was not a pretty time you know it really is nothing new that's going on with regards to you know the systematic oppression of the black people as well as just racism and police brutality but i feel like with this last case with the george floyd case um, people really did reach a breaking point especially just to see i mean i don't think i i didn't watch the video and i don't think i could have but just to you know literally see that in disregard for a human life i think people just really <laughs> got to a breaking point um and yeah like the world is just not having it and so it's way past time for a change like i said i just didn't feel like it was my time to be posting um for me uh and my gain so i took that time off of social media i mean i was still really on it to, to keep up to date and to because i mean that's the way i we get our information you know um but also i did take heed to the ways to educate myself because i really am not the most educated person on the subject matter but i definitely started you know watching some of the suggested films and movies as well as i haven't gotten to it yet but i want to listen to a few podcasts and still you know get some more information and educate myself further so i do implore you guys to do what you can educate yourself as well as you know sign a petition if you can donate to the funds just do what you can because i mean even though we are in the caribbean and the american experience may not necessarily be our experience um it's honestly just human life like just because it's not necessarily happening to you doesn't mean that you shouldn't care about it and if you could do something to change it i feel like that's the route we should all take so plus we have our own experiences in the caribbean so that's not even i'm not even gonna mm -mm. i think i am in a better mindset to begin to get back into um posting on youtube as well as on instagram and even as that is going on it's not to say that i am over the black lives movement i am it's in the back side like it really isn't it will always be in the forefront but i think that the same way i would come to youtube for a quick release or a quick escape from all that is social media i feel like there are other people who would like to do the same and if i could help you ease your mind and your stress by you know putting up a video then i would like to do that so that's what i'm going to be doing beginning with this vlog hope you guys enjoy it and i will see you in the next one bye good morning you guys it's your girl vaughn and we are back with another vlog today do you like my hair oh we did a roll set yesterday mm. <sighs> if i look a little bit ashy that's just my sunscreen but today's vlog it's all about food in the good way so you guys know i've been working out with kira london check her out and this is going into week 10 of the quarantine workouts it's actually um oh the date today is june 1st i don't know when i'm going to be putting this up but today is june 1st so uh she's had uh, probably within the second month or so um she in collaboration with one of her cousins who is a fitness trainer as well put out a few nutrition plans and um i decided that i will hold on yeah my hand was starting to hurt anyway i decided that i would do one of the nutrition plans for the month of june at least so it's june first um she had different ones like catered towards meat and fish pescatarian vegan vegetarian and then within each one it's either a shape and shred or shape and sculpt and then also besides that it's a silver plan which is like pre-made plants and then gold and platinum were a bit more tailored um self-personalized so i just went with a silver plan of the meat and fish shape and sculpt 
so i printed it out hey of course i'm not gonna show you guys exactly what it is because then that will be like taken away from her coin and i'm not gonna do that but yeah today is the first day mommy and i went shopping on friday i think yeah because mommy is doing it as well i got a plan for her so yeah today is gonna be the first day of my new new dietary lifestyle and uh, let's see how it goes so before I, I still have these broke up glasses you guys don't, don't study that but before i start i feel like i want to take some measurements um i didn't even do that before i started actually working out and my progress pictures aren't are like the worst because um I don't think I can really see anything not regarding like my body changes But just because I had one really didn't make it easy to see anything. So today we started over. I don't really have any goals um, King Doesn't know how to stop back in But anyway, what was I saying? I honestly already find my body looking nice not to brag not to I'm not I'm just being serious the point of me doing this nutrition thing is because they always say abs are made in the kitchen and my kitchen is a mess it's a mess <laughs> it's not really a mess but like it's not the healthiest that it could be so that is why i want to do this and to see if it would give me the cuts you know that i want to see in my belly yeah so i'm going to take some measurements i'm going to actually let me just rest this down This is my belly. Now in the right light, you could see like the ab lines. <laughs> earlier, I was not really today, obviously, but earlier in, I guess the quarantine situation, I was like 29, 30 inches. So let's see. <sighs> wow, it's still the same. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, I'm more like a 29, see? 29. Yeah, I'll go 29. And let's do the hips. 41. Here we have my measurements. Weight, waist, hip right eye left eye i mean i don't know if i mentioned it but weight doesn't really matter to me because i know muscle weighs more than fat and i um have no problem with increasing my muscle anyway so the most important part for me really like i mentioned before is how my body looks and so far everything is looking good and i know it could it, it, it can continue to con you know keep just looking better so Let's go in the kitchen and make my breakfast. And cakes. <laughs> and well, I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, it tastes fine, but it, it just looks a little weird. But for real, if you usually eat protein pan cases this how thin it's supposed to be, like I didn't really expect the mixture to get so thin. It's literally egg. Look at this, look at this one. <laughs> Those protein pancakes were a struggle. I couldn't even eat all. So it's just about, I look, I always look messy on here, you know. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, so it's basically like 12 o'clock and I'm hungry. Now will be a great time to have lunch, except that my hotline shift starts now from 12 to 4. And so I can't really like be out, you know, I have to be by the phone. And it's not like I could just eat something here because I have to go and make everything. But yeah. So I just made a cup of green tea. Hopefully that and my water will keep up some space until... I could go and make something to eat or if the hunger take me like it really take me then I'm gonna just have to go outside and make my food and I'm making food for tomorrow one time because ain't nobody catching me cooking every day all day nah mm -mm. 
So any plan, let's chat. Any plan, I can't find it right now. I don't know where it is. But any plan for my plan, I have four meals. So breakfast, lunch, afternoon meal, and dinner. And then also a, a post-workout um, meal which is really a protein shake so which is a lot of meals actually so that's really not the problem the problem is just making it so I mean ideally I would have meal prepped yesterday but I didn't so whatever I make today I'm gonna try to make enough tomorrow and then within each meal there are like three or four options of what you can do so for today I'm gonna mix and match honestly because one of them is like salmon and um quinoa with broccoli but i'm not i took out chicken so i'm just gonna swap the chicken in with that and then use the salmon for the chicken meal whenever ideally i would have worked out this morning as well but i didn't so i'll just have to do that after my shift <sighs> you guys if you want to work out if you if you don't have a problem doing like home workouts i strongly advise you check out her page because honestly we're going into week 10 and they just keep adding and adding new classes especially because people are going back out to work so they're like adding in classes at different times i mean obviously it's not really relevant to me because i'm still five hours behind anyway by the time i wake up all of the classes are basically done or now going on like the midday class is now going on at seven o'clock and then they would have like an evening class so like 8 p.m today is meditation so that's three o'clock my time i will still be in my shift so i'm not gonna be able to do that plus the meditation kind of puts me to sleep so i'm not going to be doing that at three o'clock any day like i'll do that later on but anyway yeah i strongly advise that you guys suggest uh, do you guys check it out if you really don't mind doing home workouts i mean i think it's drastically improved and changed i feel like if i was to go back to the gym i would be in a better place just my two cents so i'm gonna do my shift now i might take my nails off in between and i'll check in with you guys when it's time to make my second meal of the day so it's after four, quarter past four, and I'm now making my lunch. I think this should be an easiest meal to make. I mean, I have a quinoa on the stove, and then I'm gonna put the chicken in the oven now. So, should be a little half hour again, and I should be fine. But surprisingly, I mean, that green tea and water actually kept me, and I didn't really drink that much water during the four hours. This is my DIY grilled chicken breast. <laughs> this is my meal, my lunch finally. I'm so excited to eat some quinoa, my chicken breast, and some broccoli. Stuff looks kind of dry, but it's very flavorful. So let's go eat. So it's later on in the evening. It's about half past six around there. Um, my hair is up. I'm about ready to go exercise. Just had some BCAAs, branch chain amino acids. Apparently these are good to help rebuild those muscles even while you're working out. So I just had that. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna go work out now. So, it was supposed to be just my first day of a new dietary lifestyle, but since we're here a week later, I'm gonna just give you a quick rundown. It's been going good so far. I mean, I think it's mainly just really about portion control. Well, this plan I think is really just about portion control, except I feel like my portions are way out of hand. Like, she will say like a handful of this. And I, like, at one time I was doing spaghetti and <laughs> she said a handful of pasta. And of course, I took out a handful of pasta with it dry so that when it was actually boiled and on my plate, 
ate, it was just like, I feel like this is two servings, but of course I still eat it <laughs> all in one go. And then like, you might have a mug of quinoa or a mug of oats or a mug of rice. And that's real rice. Like the quinoa that I made today in this vlog, well that day, but in this vlog, literally, la that was two mugs of quinoa and that literally lasted the entire week really. Anyway, but it's been going good so far. It's also been opening, you know, my my realm of food because I usually just eat chicken and whatever fish mommy might make. But I've had tilapia. I've started having not tilapia, ew. What's the word? I've had salmon more regularly now. And we have I've had turkey. Um so yeah, it's nice, it's nice. Thing is we just have to keep honestly the shopping is very frequent. I actually also cheated during the week. I had hacker and like six rough tops and a piece of a sunny bun and then I had two slices of pizza and a whole lot of wine. So like, mm, but we'll get there. I will I will get there somehow across that river. Mm -hmm. But anyway, it's been going good for the 15th million time and I hope to continue to just improve and actually control the portions learn what that means yeah and we'll see how things go by the end of the month uh thank you guys for watching my video hope you guys are keeping yourself safe and we is even though a lot is going on right now with regards to protesting and people standing up speaking up and all of that we still have a virus and a pandemic going on so still make sure to keep yourself safe guys if you go out to protest whether you're in trinidad or anywhere else make sure that you're keeping yourself safe and as our country trinidad is opening back up slowly but surely well not really slowly we're opening back up um so as everybody goes back out to work and tries to get back to as much of a regular life as possible remember we do have a new normal and keep up those sanitation and protective protocols and methods to safeguard yourself and your family and the entire nation as a whole okay see you guys in my next video bye